I was looking at all of my self-tape auditions from 2022 and 2021, and oh my God, thank God that what you wear is not a deal breaker because there were times where I was just like, wow, I really wore that. I really thought that was okay. Today, I wanna give you tips that I am also giving myself after looking at all of these self-tape auditions and just seeing where I can improve. Do I know exactly what you need to wear for your audition? No, and nobody does either. If somebody tells you these are exactly the things, they're lying. Those things aren't gonna to apply to every single audition that you do. If a casting director wants you to wear all black to all of your auditions and never slate, then guess what? That's what you should be sending to that particular casting director. Follow the instructions. That's the most important part in your self tape. Look at the instructions and see if there's any information on that. Because we are sending in at least our first round of auditions from home, I think it's really important to help them, help their imagination a little bit and not do anything that's gonna distract them. So. Let's just go over some things. Should you straight up wear the costume that that person would wear? It's different for every single person, but for me, I tend to hint at it or wear as much of, of that costume as I do have. They are asking you to do a self-tape audition, usually based off of your headshot or your reel, so make sure that you still look like yourself. My headshots are with straight hair. So usually for my auditions, I will have straight hair unless I absolutely cannot do it that day. It's a quick turnaround. I have so much going on in my life. Then my hair might just be natural and a little bit more wavy. But my makeup for my headshots, I did it. My hair for my headshots, I did it because I can duplicate it into my self tapes and then I'll still look like what they wanted me to look like, which was my headshot. Especially right now with COVID, whatever you wear during your audition, they might ask you to bring to set and wear it. Make sure you're wearing shoes not just socks, but shoes. Some things that you should avoid is just anything that looks really bad on camera. There's a lot of different tight patterns that just look bad on camera and they start making some effect. Like, of course, just don't do that. So if you wanna play it safe, do no logos, solid colors, and things that fit you well and don't show your underwear. Panty lines for me and bra straps, for some reason, it's just distracting and your eyes go to it. That's a huge thing about what you wear to an audition is just it being clean and put together and professional looking. It's just something that your brain goes to and why not fix those things? So when the casting team is looking at your audition, they're just able to completely focus on your audition. I wouldn't wear something or do something with myself that is distracting. Like sometimes my hair will have like a little you know, a little pokey thing or like a hair that's slightly out and you should not stress out so much. There are days where my hair is just so frizzy and there's nothing I can do to make it calm down. It's not worth it to stress out over what you look like. Just do a good audition. Things that make a lot of noise are not good because then you're gonna be thinking about it and then they're gonna be thinking about it, especially if it's maybe bracelets that are making noise and your hands are down here. They can hear the noise, but they can't see where the noise is coming from. That's gonna be distracting. And these aren't all like you have to do all of these things. It's just like every little thing, at least to me, it adds up in um, how professional you look and how good your audition turns out overall. You should feel comfortable in whatever you're wearing. I don't think you're ever going to be 100% perfect with these, but you can strive for it. Let's go through some of my auditions from 2021 and 2022. I can tell you from my personal experience that not wearing the right thing doesn't mean that you're not gonna book the job because I recently booked a job with YouTube shorts. I wore a white tank top, leggings and flats. What was I thinking? I don't know, maybe I was trying to show like the, my body shape and I booked it. In this case, I did not wear the right thing. And I can tell you I did not wear the right thing because this is what I ended up wearing for the actual shoot. And yes, this is my clothing. I wore a denim jacket and a brown dress and I looked great. Why didn't I just wear that to my audition? Since then, I have worn this outfit to different self-tape auditions because now I know clients do like that. And in one occasion, I even sent in a self-tape audition where my pants were dirty, like I had blue slacks on and it had some kind of powdery white. I don't know what it was. I did not notice it 
or at least I don't think I noticed it because I sent in an audition like that. I recently had to do an audition for a vet that was at a farm. So I had to Google it because I have no experience. They didn't tell me in the description of what would be good options to, to wear, but they said, we want you to look like you're on a farm and you're a vet. So I had to Google it. And then some of the vet farmers were wearing scrubs. Some of them were just wearing really casual clothing, denim. Of course, like I had my hair really messy. This was super recent if you saw it in a vlog. Um, so I decided, you know, this is what I would wear if I was a vet. This is what I would wear to the farm. <laughs> So here's an example of a doctor audition. I did have the lab coat and then I had a nice blue shirt. I slicked my hair back. I did everything possible that I could do in order to still feel comfortable within myself. You know, nothing was making me uncomfortable of what I, would, of what I was wearing, but also hinting towards the role of this doctor. Here are some commercial auditions and you can see some of them are for tech companies, apps. some theatrical auditions, some auditions that I did for TV shows. All of these, I based it off of the character. So if the character said they're sexy and a little punk rock or they're grungy, they live on a farm, whatever it was, I did my best to use my wardrobe in order to influence what I was wearing for this audition. Some of my favorite things to wear are still this shirt. Like this shirt still fits me. Um, when I bought this shirt, I was probably 30 pounds lighter, but this shirt was still, is really flowy and breathable. So it still fits me. I love blue to this day. As well as denim, I own lots and lots of denim and I own denim shirts, denim jackets, and I really like the way they look on me. And usually they're a nice, like um, texture, a nice fabric that a lot of people like. Okay, this was as helpful to me as it was to you and probably more helpful to me because I was just going through all of my auditions to see how I can improve what I'm wearing and girl, I can definitely improve what I'm wearing. So I'm gonna continue to improve these and hopefully I can make another one of these videos in about a year and show you like all of the outfits that I wore. Oh wait, that would be fun. Every Saturday I post a vlog, but every first Saturday of the month I will go through all of the auditions that I got for that month. But moving forward, when I do my uh, self-tape audition recap of the auditions that I did that month, I will show you the outfits that I did. And you will help keep me accountable and make sure that I am not looking a hot mess. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Um, at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure that you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.